Nancy and um, when we last met I had glued all these little bits and pieces of lace down to this very old book cover. I've since stitched all around it and uh, I'm happy with how that turned out. Now I've got a piece of Tyvek here. This is going to be the base of my spine. Um, this is my spine in here. I made this the other day when I was, I think I was having a crafty date with Catherine. So this will get glued in there once I've got all the lace down, but I've, so I've, uh, you know what I've done. <laughs> I've drawn lines here so I know where it goes. <laughs> all right. Uh, and this is the, the thing, the template that the spine will be. Um, they, blah, 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 blah. The signatures will get sewn to. So I'm going to turn this off. I turn this over because lace is going to go on this side. Now I've got this big long thing. And I thought perhaps I could use part of that. To sort of as a base. That's just outside. Uh, my neighbor has these two dogs. I think I think they're boxers mostly. The little one has some French um, French bully and he is adorable he's only four or five months old I think and there's no fence between our house there's just um, what do you call it hedges <laughs> I must be getting tired I'm really struggling today with my words um, So that's what I'm going to do there. Let me get a little bit of a little bit of acetone here to thin this glue out because it's going to make me very cross. I can tell. No, 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 no. Look what I did. Let me get some tissue. Okay. Wacka, wacka, wacka. Turn this end up. Okay. I 
just going to trim this down a bit. Okay, now, let's see what we're going to use. irritating me. Maybe I'll do like a base and then add little ones on top. How do we feel about that? Feeling good? Agreed. Just putting some of this good fabric attack on here. I will be doing some stitching, so that will be helpful in holding things down. I've just kind of put it askew a little so it hangs over. I 
don't know if you can see that. Might be out of the camera's view. So you're just going to have to trust me. Anyway, so I'm outside I, because I mentioned I was um, washing sleeping bags. And you know, they feel dry, but you're never quite sure they're 100% dry. So I took them outside to lay in the sun, spread out on the grass. <laughs> and this little dog, his name's Murphy, he's always in trouble. And uh, whenever he hears me outside, he comes running over fast as anything so that he can get his belly rubbed and, you know, eat some of my leaves because the leaves at his house aren't good enough, I guess. <laughs> He's always in big trouble. The other one will go home for a treat, but... Murphy's not, he's not very motivated by treats. Um, not like Oscar. Oscar? Oliver. Oliver, that's his name. Okay. So I, I had to pick him up and carry him back home so I could come back in the house. Because otherwise he might run out in the street. Because we don't have a fence on our yard. And I don't know that he would go home. <laughs> so now my ear is all soggy with puppy kisses. I'm glad I'm getting this laundry done. I brought home three, three um, garbage bags full of dirty, wet laundry. Three sleeping bags. I don't know, two or three blankets. And then, like, socks and sweatshirts and a couple of winter hats. And I came home, Doug said, what are you going to do with that? And I said... I think we're going to take it to work and put it in the dumpster. I can't even face doing that. <laughs> that <laundry. laughs> but I did it. I think there's one more load to go in the wash. Things get left behind by people um, when they leave, expecting that somebody else will be able to put it to use, which they do. Um, once it's clear that somebody's not coming back, everybody will go have a look and a dig and see what's what. I never know exactly which one's the right side. Started watching uh, the fifth season of Handmaid's Tale yesterday. Episode two is up there too. But I didn't watch that yet. I was too tired last night. I didn't recognize any scenery this time. Although I understand that parts are filmed 
well, in Cambridge, I know that. They're, they're, I've seen a lot of Cambridge scenes. Um, like, I'm pretty sure the exteriors of houses in Gilead, Gilead houses, pretty sure those are in Galt, uh, the Galt part of um, Cambridge. But um, I read, did I read it in the paper or did I, did I hear somebody tell me that uh, <sighs> they were filming Handmaid's Tale near Rim Park, which is n north uh, Waterloo. Rim is something in motion. I can't remember. Something technological for sure. Research in motion. That's what it is. Research in motion. Alrighty. I'm going to give this a bit of a sew. And uh, I'll come back and we'll start putting this the bad boy together. So I switched my thread out to um, like an ivory color and I just sewed two lines down. Okay, so I've got my spine. It's got a gentle curve. some glue going here. I'm just keeping this round, pressing it down. And that's going to work perfectly. Now the next thing I need to do is I'm going to glue the back of the book here. Just leave a little gap. It's going to be great. Okay. 
Okay, let's make sure we get this right. Okay, so now I'm going to stitch through the cover. You know what? I can see that white paper through there. Okay, trip a little more of this off. Just patch it. Got a similar problem down here. you what I'm doing here. There. Much better. Okay. Gonna sew. Okay. I widened my shot a bit so you could get a full look at how this is turning out. Um, I do have some threads to tie off. But here is the spine. There's the covers looking good looking good so um there's one of those threads i was talking about anyway so i think we're gonna stop for now um next i guess i will be putting signatures together so come on back <clears throat> to see what that's gonna be like take care we'll talk to you again soon